Hi Garden Nerds, I'm Christy Wilhelmy from Garden Nerd. We had a great response to the pinching basil video and even a request to do more like it. For example, about cilantro. Uh, I'm grouping cilantro and parsley in with this video today because they have the exact same growth habit. So let's talk about how to grow and harvest and pinch uh, cilantro and parsley. The first thing you need to know about cilantro and parsley is that they are both annuals. Now, in colder climates, parsley is considered a biennial, meaning it lives out its life for a season and then some. But where I live, it doesn't. It bolts to seed at the end of the season, just like cilantro. And both cilantro and parsley are very sensitive to heat. So this happens sooner if you live in a really warm place. The growth habit of both cilantro and parsley are that they grow from the center of the plant. Now, if you're planting from seed and you planted one seed and it grew, you're going to see the new growth growing from the middle of the plant, the right at the base of the plant, and then the bigger outer leaves are the things that you harvest. So you snap those off or cut them with shears right down at the base of the plant and then the new growth will keep coming from the center. They're kind of what I call a factory vegetable in that they like they grow like kale and chard in that and lettuces in that way. The thing about it is that most people, if you're buying cilantro and parsley seedlings from the nursery, you're gonna buy a four inch pot or maybe even some six packs, but there are going to be maybe 10 to 15 30 even plants in this in this one four inch pot. So finding the center of that plant is a little more difficult unless you get it really young and you separate all of those little seedlings out into individual plants you may be growing it as a clump of multiple plants and so that is harder to find but if you dig down within the center of each plant you'll see that's where the new baby growth comes from and you want to focus on picking those bigger outer leaves toward the end of the season or if the plants are stressed by lack of water uh, too much heat, uh, really intense sunlight, they will do this, what's happening here. They will send up flower stalks and say, bye-bye, I'm done, I'm out of here, it's too much for me, because that's what they do. Where I live, cilantro and parsley bolt to seed before we get to the ripe tomatoes. So tomatoes and cilantro pass like ships in the night where I live. Now, some of the things you can do to try and prevent that bolting to seed from happening during the season when you're trying to get your cilantro and tomatoes to match up is to use shade cloth or strategically tuck your cilantro and parsley behind something taller or under the canopy of something so it gets a little bit of, of shade during the day so it's not inclined to bolt to seed so quickly. Once cilantro and parsley start to send up that flower stalk, there is a little bit you can do to keep it growing and curtail that end of life thing that's happening <laughs> uh, before they goes. And that is to snap off or cut off those flower stalks as they grow. That will start encouraging some new growth further down the plant, but eventually, much like basil, the flowers are gonna take over and that's pretty much it. But it's really important to leave cilantro and parsley flowering in your garden because, I don't know if you can see, I'm surrounded by ladybugs and <laughs> what? She's got things to say. I'm surrounded by little flying gnats and critters and these are parasitic wasps that are coming through and lace wings and ladybugs and they're all here because of these. These plants attract good bugs to your garden. You want them in your garden. Let's let our plants go to seed so that you can have that. And they are also one of the easiest seeds to save because they don't cross-pollinate. And once you get the seeds, you can scatter them all over your yard like I did and have a succession of cilantro growing all the time. Right, Mittens? Yes. Tail in frame. Oh, good girl. Hi, sweetie. Yeah, I know. Hi. Yeah, you're stealing focus. You literally are stealing focus. I think the camera is focusing on your tail instead of my face. <laughs> All right. If you keep your cilantro and parsley well watered, they'll be less inclined to bolt to seed so quickly. But keep in mind that 
hot weather makes it happen. There's not much you can do about it. You can, glow, ugh, you can grow slow bolt varieties and varieties that are bred for heat tolerance, but <clears throat> in the end, they're gonna do what they're gonna do. So enjoy the flowers when it happens, save the seed, start all over again, and plant in succession so that you can enjoy a longer season of cilantro and parsley. For more information on growing herbs like cilantro and parsley and a whole bunch of other stuff, visit GardenNerd.com. And of course, check out all the information that's available in Gardening for Geeks, which goes into much more detail about growing food than I'm giving you here. Check out my new book on growing fruit, Grow Your Own Mini Fruit Garden. And of course, consider becoming a Patreon subscriber to support all the free stuff that we do here at Garden Nerd. Happy gardening!